Hi everyone, in this video we're going to have a look at the more advanced features of the ADSR sample manager such as the different MIDI modes. So let's just have a look at these. Firstly we have stop and what this is going to do is it's going to stop a sample playing as soon as we take our finger off of the keyboard. So I'll just demonstrate this. If we find a loop and what we can do is we can hit the different notes of the keyboard we can play across the keyboard and it's only going to play the part that we decide by taking our finger off the note. So we could just play this first note or we could move the sample start point and isolate a different part of the loop So this is a really good way of isolating different sounds and also controlling the decay of sounds if you're using something like a one shot. Let's find something that's a bit busier. There we go, we've got quite a long hat there. We might want to cut that hat off a bit shorter. So we can do that just by now tapping the note in. Or we could hold it down. So you could quite easily program in some percussion. and get the different decays in there. That's stop mode. We then have loop mode. So loop mode, if we have a one shot, this is going to continue the one shot playing all the way around until we take our finger off the note. And if we use this with a loop, then what it allows us to do is it allows us to write long MIDI notes. So if I just duplicate this loop, so we now have 16 bars. I'll just make this legato. So we've got a 16 bar sustained note. And we could find something such as this loop here, which is definitely not 16 bars. And now if we hit play, not only is it going to play in tempo with our track, but it's also going to continue playing seamlessly with the rest of the track as well. And we're not going to notice that it's looping round. So we can see it loops round at this point here. This is also handy for one shots as well and we'll demonstrate this in a minute but we could actually use this in a more percussive manner to get a one shot sound to loop round and continue playing. So if I hold down a MIDI note now it's going to play this clap continuously. So I'll demonstrate that further in a second. The final mode we have is full mode. And what this allows us to do is it, even if we have a really long note, it's only going to play it once through. So I'll demonstrate it with a loop first. So this will now stop here. So I find this especially useful for vocals. So just to demonstrate, What we can expect, no matter how long or short this note is, I'll just make it really short. It's going to play this entire vocal through once and then it's going to stop. Time. Can't control. Let's hit play. Time. And we can see it has stopped. So what we'll now do is we'll look at these in a bit more of a useful way. So I'll start off by adding a bit more percussion to this riff that we've got. So let's type in percussion. Remember we could also search for the tag. Let's delete this MIDI and make a new MIDI track. So what we can now do is we can add some percussion notes and if we use the loop mode, I'll just hold down a note, because we've got a short sample we can hear this is repeating itself on 16th notes. So this is going to help me add a little bit of groove to this loop. And we can hear we've got 
two repeats here. So what we could do is we could change this one slightly, just shorten it. And now we're going to have two repeats and three repeats. And what I love about this is it's really good for hot swapping different ideas. So let's just duplicate this now. Now we can have both of our sample manager plugins side by side and we could even select both of these. We could move the sample start point or we could simply move the notes. And you can see we now see both sets of notes, but as well as that, we can also change the two different samples. So in both cases, we've got 068. So let's change this to 066 and see how that sounds. So let's just alter this slightly. And because we've got both of these windows open, we can very quickly try out different ideas. So at the moment, we're trying out 68 and 66. Let's try 74 and 70. In fact, maybe not 74. So it's a great way of getting inspiration as well. And something that I found quite interesting is that you can actually record this onto an audio track and then cut up these ideas and then use them within the project. But in this case, that's just set that back to how it was at the start. And equal out these levels slightly. So that is how we can use loop mode more creatively with one-shot samples.